The coping strategies that I've used with my child when he's having a bad day with his EGID has varied from the time he's been a toddler to now when he's an adolescent. First, when he was very young and first diagnosed, we sought out a great child psychologist who could support us. And that's the number one thing that we've done that's been able to support him year to year as he's grown up and learned to accept his disease. One of the other things that we did very early on is we introduced our child to other kids who also live with EGIDs. And some of that has taken um, us as parents having to travel with him, to have play dates with other kids like him. But just meeting one kid like him has helped him on those bad days know that he's not the only person. Also having the children's books that are about EGIDs in our home for him to read, especially when he was younger, was really helpful for him to cope and also for his friends to be able to learn about what he was dealing with. And then sometimes if our child is just in pain, giving him a hug or a hot bath and doing the same things that any other parent would do when their kid is ill is all that you can do.